Today, Jim Akar, the special counsel to Nande Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has assured that his client would be granted bail on May 18, 2022. Jim Akar was reacting to yesterday's ruling by an Abuja Federal High Court that struck out eight out of the 15 court charges against Nande Kanu. Justice Binta Eyako struck out the eight count charge on the grounds that the proof of evidence did not link Kano to the allegations. The judge delivered a ruling on a preliminary objection the Biafran leader raised against on the charges. I have read the counts and counts six, seven, nine, eight, ten. 11, 12, and 14 have not disclosed any offense against the defendant, that is Nandekano. But, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, and 15 show some allegations. Okay, show some allegations. Did you see that? It shows some allegations. The court shall proceed to try the defendant on those counts. The judge, the judge ruled. Following the ruling, the judge had slated a hearing for Kanu's Bay application for May 18, 2022. Reacting, Ijimako congratulated his fellow counsels for the feat achieved. In a tweet, the special counsel wrote, Congratulations to my colleagues who were on ground yesterday to receive the eight counts strike out. It's great that the Umahia judgment was brought to bear on the bail application moved by San Zakome. I am confident that Marzi Nandekano will make bail on 18th May. Teamwork pays. Igwe Bike, he said. The government should, or can I say, they need to release uh, Marzim Nandekano immediately so that peace will reign in the southeast and not only southeast in Nigeria as a whole. Kano is standing trial, but for what? For almost a year now, Buhari has been looking for ways to convince, convince Kano they have modified his crimes as a million times without evidence. We all understand that, you know, asking for self-determination is not a crime. It's not even against Nigerian constitution. Has he picked up a gun to shoot anyone like those terrorists in the North? Is he sponsoring terrorism like those Northerners, which U.S. has banned from entering U.S.? The guy does not even live in Nigeria. When he came to visit his parents, you sent assassin, okay, military to kill him, and he escaped. You then kidnapped him like a terrorist from Kenya and brought him down to Nigeria for trial. What are you trying him for? Are you trying him for escaping an assassination by Nigerian military? Or are you trying him for kidnapping him from Kenya? Which one? This Biafra, Fulani federal government must end this. This Buhari Fulani federal government must end this disaster. Okay, someone just dropped that. Referendum is the only way out of Biafra. Out of, out. Biafra is the only answer. End Nigeria to save lives. How comes... Despite all his atrocities, do you think he will be free just like that? He was, he was a very big problem for the nation. Division, disturbing the peace of the land and causing all manner of distractions. He needs to be bring to justice. Okay? We, we stand firmly with President Muhammad Buhari. 100%. We pray that God Almighty will bless him. Okay. These are some reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking. 
But Nnamdi Kano vehemently denied being an IPOD member. Why will the judge or the Judas betray his fellows? Okay, someone just dropped that. Okay, let me correct something here. Nnamdi Kano did not deny being an IPOD member. Okay, a question was true to him. Are you a member of a proscribed IPOP group? And he said, I am not a member of a proscribed IPOP group. Do you know what it is for him to say to say is a proscribed uh, a member of proscribed I IPOP group? That means is is a terrorist. <laughs> you understand? So he denied being a proscribed member. He did not say he's not a member of IPOP group, you know. You know, this has been causing so many reactions by Nigerians. Some person did not really understand that. All right, someone said, this is where you will see different types of talk. And you cannot even understand what they are talking. At last, victory will be sure. The pain goes to the Arawa youths and uh, all those habitants in IDP. Okay, Morsi make it public, someone asks. Sometimes talking too much like Soludo do cause more harms than solution. People with target needs to be, you know, uh, secretive. Court we grant Nandikanu Bay. Obviously, it is under probability. Don't put pressure on his blind fans. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by nigerians a lawyer juma called the special counsel to nandi kano the leader of the indigenous people of biafra has assured that his client nandi kano will be granted pay on may 18th 2021 ijima call was reacting to yesterday's ruling by an abuja federal high court that struck out eight out of the 15 count charges against mars nandi kano so guys, what's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.